Why do Americans have the easiest accent to understand of all the people who speak English? Hello, I'm Julian Northbrook from doingenglish.com. This is a question that recently popped up on the question and answer site Cora. Why do Americans have the easiest accent to understand of all the people who speak English? Good question, and the answer is a fairly simple one. They don't. It's as simple as that. There's a phenomenon in psychology called the mere exposure effect that states that we will develop a preference for the things that we are regularly exposed to. It's why kids who never eat vegetables will hate vegetables. It's why people who grew up eating fried foods will love fried foods. And it's why people who grew up in a household that listened to a lot of rock music will tend to develop a preference for rock music. We like and have a preference for, and in this case find easier, the things that we are regularly exposed to. I'm British, and I certainly don't find the American accent easier to understand than most British accents. That said, I watch a lot of series on Netflix, Marvel in particular, based in New York, and I find the typical Marvel, Netflix, New Yorker American accent much easier to understand than, say, a Geordie or Glaswegian accent, because, well, I have more exposure to the Netflix New Yorker accent than I do to Glaswegian and Geordie accents. Mrs. Northbrook, on the other hand, finds my Southwest English accent easiest to understand of all the different English accents. But she finds the stereotypical standard textbook American accent easier than other English accents, even than, say, the London accent, and certainly easier than some of the Northern accents. This is because she learned this kind of English at school. She has more relative exposure to the standard American accent than she does a lot of other English accents. But she has more relative exposure to my accent than even to the American accent. Therefore, she finds it easier to understand. Accents like, again, the Glaswegian or the Geordie accent, or, say, the Indian English accent, or, God forbid, the West Cork local accent down where I live here in Ireland, can be notoriously hard to understand. But of course, for the people who actually live in these or those areas, well, they're dead easy, because that is what they are exposed to day in, day out. So as you see, it's never a case of one accent ever being easier to understand than another, because it's really down to what we are regularly exposed to. Now, of course, we are likely to have more exposure to things like the standard American accent via Hollywood and Netflix and TV and all of that good stuff. Other accents, yes, they are more precise than others. Take, for example, the Edinburgh accent, which is a very, very precise accent indeed, and compare it to, again, and sorry, Glaswegians, I keep picking on you, the Glasgow accent. Like, the Edinburgh accent, much more precise, much easier to understand for the majority of people. But if what you're used to listening to all the time is the Glasgow accent, well, that's going to be pretty straightforward for you, isn't it? If you want to learn more about accents and how you can learn to understand them and speak with an awesome sounding accent yourself, check out my book, Awesome Accents. It's not about learning to speak with an English accent or an American accent or a British accent or anything like that. It's about learning to speak with your own accent in an awesome sounding way. Check it out by heading over to awesomeaccentbook.com or click on the link in the description. Right, this is it for me, Julian Northbrook, for this video. Which accent do you find the easiest to understand? Let us know down in the comments. And if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs up anyway. And I'll see you ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in the next one. Bye-bye.